just uh, putting stuff away out at the shack got uh, the window in and all my boards in it the, to seal up the wall between the wall and the uh, rafters so that's nice to get that done you can feel a big difference in the heat retention and having that window on the south side you can feel that the air does blow through when you have it open but I came down to the pond and I thought I'd show you a little bit of my trapping pre-scouting muskrats used to live under there and uh, it's kind of given away but uh, I think the mink have been living down in there and last year during the winter they dug a hole out right uh, right about there and i would seen the tracks come up in the winter multiple times but you can see right there I'll see if I can get over there without falling down through but they've got like a really good trail beaten down right here it goes right like that and then it runs right along that log it looks like there was another log there so uh as soon as hunting or uh, trapping season opens up, I'm going to be sticking some, probably some 160s down in there. Um, I guess it could be coons looking for frogs, but I have a feeling it's a mink down in that hole. But then again, it could be a rat. I kind of doubt it though, because I don't see the rat trails out through the lily pads like I used to. There hasn't been a ton of activity on this side. I... Uh, I did a pretty good number on them last year and I'm all right with that because uh, they've really been damaging the shorelines and the beavers have really been flooding it so I don't think we're going to get too much out here but I do know that there's uh, at least one otter floating around and uh, lots of coons because all the neighbors feed, uh, feed corn so they're corn fed, they're fat. There's tons of frogs, so I know they do well with the frogs. And uh, there's definitely mink. And I don't have a registered line, so I'm not a allowed to trap uh, Martin and Fisher and Lynx. But uh, mink and otter I can, so I'd like to get one of, one of each, and then I'll pull my ground traps out around the pond, and I'll just have them on my trail where it's mucky and, you know, come... November, December, when it starts to get cold, then I'll pull all my ground sets because all the uh, coons will be gone. But I just thought I'd show you that little trail. Uh, doesn't hurt to go for a walk around your trapping areas. Just have a look. This is a good time to look because everything should be nice and green and tall. And if you have any flat spots, there's a good chance that critters are running. And that spot has been getting flatter and flatter in the last, I would say, three weeks. So um, things can change definitely from now till trapping season. But uh, opening day, I'm definitely going to stick a trap on that runway. And I'll probably put a box, uh, a cubby set up underneath here somewhere. And, uh, and hopefully we can get a mink out of here. Anywho, just thought I'd show that. It uh, doesn't hurt to scout. See you later.